In this video, we're going to show you how to sign the Northfields Tenancy Agreement using the leading online signature solution, DocuSign. You can sign your documents using DocuSign on a desktop device, tablet, or smartphone, so you can sign wherever you are. You'll get an email from Northfields via DocuSign that will look something like this. When you go into the email, you may want to display the images, and then you can see the Northfields logo and the photo of the member of our team who sent you the email, along with their email address so it's easy to contact them if you have any questions. Below you'll find a note telling you how to get started, and then you click View Documents. This will take you to DocuSign. We do have three different versions of the tenancy agreement, depending on which scheme your landlord has decided to use to register your deposit, but all three agreements are signed in a similar way. In this example, we'll use the Tenancy Deposit Scheme, or TDS, version of our agreement. The first thing you need to do is to tick this box to agree to do business electronically with Northfields, and then click Review Documents. You then need to click Start to take you to the first page where you will need to initial. We do encourage you to read thoroughly each page in this agreement before initialing it. When you are ready to initial, you simply click, click Initial and it will give you the opportunity to adopt the signature style that you'd like to use. For example, if you like to sign perhaps with your initials rather than your full name, you can change that. You can include your middle initial, for example, in the initial section. By clicking Change Style, you can select a signature style that perhaps most closely resembles your own written signature. Alternatively, you can click or write your signature to use a tablet or other touch screen device to write your own initials and then adopt an initial that way. For this example though, we'll just use the pre-selected signature style here and click Adopt an Initial. You can then click the Next button to go to the next area where you need to initial, but again we do encourage you to thoroughly read all of the details in the tenancy agreement before initialing each page. You can see that by the time you've actually selected your initial, it does make it very quick and easy to initial each page. Finally, on the last page, it will ask you to sign here, and because we've already selected our signature style on the first page, when you click, it will simply put on the initial. If you've missed any of the pages during this process, it will take you back to the pages that you failed to initial, and then you press Confirm Signing. You'll also notice that there is a document at the end called What is the Tenancy Deposit Scheme that's there for you to read should you uh, not understand what the TDS is all about. And then you press Confirm Signing. And that completes signing your tenancy agreement online. DocuSign will then give you the opportunity to create a free account with them. This gives you the opportunity to log on to DocuSign at any time and see all of the documents that you've signed using DocuSign in one place. However, you do not need to create an account, so you can skip this if you wish. You'll notice when you finish signing your DocuSign documents, it will automatically take you to the Northfields website, where you can catch up on the latest property news or search for properties to buy or let. When you go to your email, you'll find in your inbox a completed DocuSign document with any attachments that are relevant below, including the tenancy agreement with all the signatures in place. In this case, there's also the PDF document that explains the tenancy deposit scheme and a summary document, and that basically outlines who signed what and when. So that forms part of the legalities of your signed tenancy agreement. Thank you for using Northfields, and we hope that you found using DocuSign to sign your documents online fast and easy.